insurance? Uh, health insurance. Okay, thank you. selling health insurance. Most tourists not in the U.S. need to have health insurance to get a visa. So I don't know. I don't know how that works or why they're selling it now. I thought maybe you needed to have proof of the visa beforehand. Not sure. But anyway, this is the street that. I went to some immigration specialist uh, to get the Moscow, um, not the Moscow, I, I have my Moscow registration from the hotel, but this is to get the St. Petersburg registration. So my Airbnb host um, didn't really uh, do that. Uh, although he kind of knew how to do it, um, but he recommended this place. Not that he's used them a lot. I guess he just heard of them maybe or something, or maybe had one one or two clients go there. Not not exactly sure on that. But uh, it's this place right across the street. On Marata Eight. That's Olsi Bulitsa Marata. And that is this door over here. And I believe the bell was 3B. So, so the way this works, from what I was told uh, from my Airbnb host, is that I don't know how strict this registration thing really is um, what he told me was that during the World Cup there were so many people trying to register that the backlog was I don't know days or weeks or whatever um, and that I guess they put the word out the government put the word out not to bother any foreigners for registrations during uh, the World Cup. However, the World Cup is over, so I think that hands-off approach is over now also, so I don't want to be out here, uh, you know, getting stopped by these cops now that they could actually stop you and take a look or whatever. So I wanted to get the registration, so what he told me was there's three ways to do it. One way is the post office. You can go there and fill out a form and send it out. Um, and I think, I'm not sure that it's immediate or whatever, but that's one way. Another way is the immigration office, which from what he told me, the immigration office is very filled with immigrants from the stands and all kinds of places. So that place might be very crowded. So the third one is something called the FMS office. And I guess it's, it's, I guess some kind of registration office specifically for registrations. And so that's what we chose to do um, after talking to the people at this place here, this immigration place. Let me show you their card. Um, so we went upstairs, talked to the lady. She looked at my stuff. She, uh, she photocopied my passport and all my information and things like that and I paid her a thousand rubles and what she said was that the fact that I started out in Moscow could be a problem um, and it may uh, leave me open to some fines or something because supposedly the Moscow database and the St. Petersburg database do not talk together so They'll see me as coming into the country, you know, a week ago, and now I'm registering now in St. Petersburg. But it sounded a little strange to me because 
um, I, I put all that information on my visa exactly what cities I'm going to travel to and when. So I don't know why it would be a surprise to them. But anyway, I paid her a thousand rubles and she basically said, come back tomorrow, uh, meet at this other office where I guess there's a paperwork specialist that's going to meet us and go with us to the FMS office and fill all this stuff out. Um, and then we sh I should get the registration right there and then. And so that's what we did. Um, went there the next day, supposed to meet him at three. I like after multiple phone calls <clears throat> and uh, 45 minutes later, we finally found out that the lady was already in the immigration, the FMS office. And so we went there and met her and she filled out paperwork for like, I don't know, an hour or something. And then we waited until uh, our turn came. So uh, I needed to have the Airbnb host. That, that host had to put their passport and all their information also. So it was a real big process. Um, we started, what, at 3 o'clock and didn't finish till 6.15. So a good portion of the day was gone just because of trying to get registered uh, in St. Petersburg. So I finally did get registered. Um, and that, you know, that was my experience that what it, I had to go through to get registered. Um, also, the lady at the, the immigration help office, the business over here, she also gave me an option for 3,000 rubles. I could get registered at some hostel like for a day or, I don't know, for, for my whole stay or whatever. So basically, there's a price for everything. And if you want to pay up, you could avoid some of these hassles. Um, so I did get registered. However, um, my warning to you and... If you're going to go through Airbnb and, and hope that your host knows how to register you or, more importantly, is willing to take the time out of their day to go with you and, you know, fill out the paperwork and bring their passport and sit in the office for a few hours, um, I got really lucky in that my host is a great guy and, and did that for me with his wife, both of them. Um, I, I really lucked out there. Uh, is it likely you're going to luck out like that too if you get an Airbnb over here? I'm not so sure. Uh, so from my experience uh, of doing this, what I would do the next time um, is either make sure your host you know, knows how to register you and is willing to do it, or... Uh, in my opinion, I would maybe get a hotel for the first night so that they register you and then and then after that go to the Airbnb. So at least you're registered <clears throat> in the city. Um, that seems to be probably the easiest thing to do. Um, also on the registration, what this Airbnb host was telling me is that a lot of his clients never registered and just took their chances and he didn't hear back from them with any negative stories um, obviously he wouldn't know if they had a problem leaving the country because that, that's what I hear is that if you don't register on your way out they see you didn't register and could hit you with the fine there so I've seen people talk about getting hit with $200 fines or something like that so um, but he said he didn't hear anybody complain, and so some people took the risk and didn't register at all. So maybe that's an option. I, I'm not sure. Uh, what he did tell me was one person he went with to, I think, the FMS office or something, and they were late in registering. Like, they got here three days or four days before and went to register after three days or four days and you're supposed to register within one day and so 
when they went to the office, the office told them it was going to be a 5,000 ruble fine, uh, which is, you know, $90 or something like that. And when they found out that, they didn't want to pay it. And so they just left the office and didn't do the registration at all and just took their chances. And apparently, you know, they, they didn't get stopped or anything like that or fined at the border because um, he hadn't, they didn't tell him anything about it. So, again, you know, you're taking a risk. Um, I, I think the real messed up thing here is Airbnb I'm sure they know all about these requirements um, it's the requirement of the host it's the law the host is required to register you but if they do not it's the client uh, the person that's doing the renting that faces the fine so <laughs> it's kind of a the person that's hosting you, they're supposed to register you, but if they don't, they're not the ones paying the fine, you are. So you need to really be aware before you rent a place on Airbnb um, how well these people know the regulation of registering you and how willing they are to do it. And if they already know somebody that has done it many times and could kind of make things go quicker for you because if you're spending uh, a day or half a day scrambling to figure all this stuff out uh, and probably most people only spend a few days here uh, you're spending a good portion of your vacation you know sitting in some old bureaucratic communist looking office trying to register your paperwork and if you don't speak Russian forget about it uh, if you don't have somebody Russian with you doing this thing uh, it's not gonna happen so like I said if you're gonna book something on Airbnb make sure that the host tells you that yes I know I'll I will either register you myself or I will go with you or I know an agency that does it and you know they have all the kinks worked out and it's very quick it's not a one two day process or something like that or um, you know, really consider a hotel at least for the first day or for your whole stay if it's only a few days. Uh, what my Airbnb host told me was that he thinks that the process to register people that are not staying in a hotel is convoluted on purpose just to kind of uh, keep the competition of Airbnb away. Uh, is that possible sure it, it could be possible so i don't you know i don't know maybe they make it tough on on purpose because the hotel lobbies pay off people to to keep the airbnb people out i don't know but either way that's not your problem your problem is you know getting here and registering so that you don't have any problems with the police or immigration on the way out so again make sure your airbnb host is 100% sure they know how to take care of you in terms of the registration or stay in a hotel at least one day to do the registering because the hotels register you automatically I guess I think they have it online or something like that and it's a breeze uh, they do all the work for you like I in Moscow I stayed in a hotel and I just filled out one little form when I checked in the next day my registration paper was there for me and that's all I had to do. So um, it's super easy. Airbnb, not so easy. So be aware of that before you come here uh, and, and do an Airbnb rental. Um, just really, really talk to the owners because some of these owners, they have one apartment and maybe they don't even get a lot of foreigners or something like that. So make sure beforehand that you know how to register because it could cost you a lot of time and hassle and, and money, really, uh, if you get stopped, which could happen. So uh, that's my video on the Russian registration. So check out my future videos. Thank you.